All parties in the matter of Donovan versus Ayers, step forward. 22-year-old Nevin Donovan is suing Jared Ayers for crashing into his parked car while he was driving drunk. Mr. Donovan, prior to November 2nd of this year, had you ever met Mr. Ayers? I have not. And this, I assume, is your brother? Yes. You and your brother were looking at a house to rent? or to A apartment, yes. An apartment to rent, and that was on the 2nd of November of this year. According to you, while you were inside, you heard a crash outside, you came outside and saw that the defendant had hit your parked car, and it appeared as if his airbag imploded and he was injured, and you, your car was severely damaged, that's what you're suing for, yes, the damage to your car. Mr. Ayers has a counterclaim for his medical bills. He was seriously injured, and he says that the accident happened when you were carelessly backing out of the driveway and didn't see him and plowed into his car. He's counterclaiming for his medical bills. I assume you have a police report yes, Judge. that day, and I assume you have your medical reports, yes. not your bills, the reports from the hospital. I have the bills only. I don't have the I'm not interested in the bills. All right. Then no, Your Honor. If you don't have the report from the EMT that took you to the hospital, I'm not interested in your counterclaim. Do we understand each other? Yes, Your Honor. Because the medical reports would tell me whether or not you were drunk, right? Yes. Because they would tell me whether the emergency room people at the time of your admission to the hospital on November 2nd said that you were incoherent or high or drunk, right? Yeah. Right. So why don't you tell me what happened, Mr. Donovan? Well, my brother and I were inside of our new apartment um, with our landlord going over our final agreement for renting. Um, that's when we heard two loud bangs. We looked out the window and saw a truck that was crashing in the woods. So all three of us ran outside. We heard a cry for help. So I told my landlord to um, call 911, and me and my brother assisted him out of the truck. That was him? Yes. He was in a truck? Yes. Airbag exploded? Um, I didn't see the airbag. You um, didn't? Nope. I don't know if it went off because his head hit the windshield. There is a big mark where his head hit. So I noticed he had head trauma, so I helped him across the street and told him to sit down because I know we have head trauma. You shouldn't be standing. That's when my brother noticed the damage to my Mustang. I walked over and saw it, and I then waited for the police to arrive so I can give my statement. May I see pictures of the car? Those first pictures are the location, and then the um, other pictures are actually the actual damage. Well, you have pictures of the woods where his truck ended That's up? That's where his truck ended up, yes. Now, may I see the police report, please? Yes, you may. You have insurance when you were driving, Mr. Ayers? No, Your Honor. Did they suspend your driver's license? Yes. Well, you told the police that you swerved to avoid a deer. Your Honor, I didn't remember what had happened after the impact, oh, the impact of the airbag. Well, you didn't tell that to the police. You made up a story. The story was, told me he swerved to avoid a deer and struck a parked car. He told me that his truck bounced off the sidecar and continued across the street into the woods. I could smell the odor of an intoxicating beverage coming from Ayers' breath when he spoke and noticed his eyes were bloodshot and glassy. I asked how much he had to drink and he said nothing. I asked him again and he said one shot. I asked him if he would be willing to submit to testing to determine his ability to operate a motor vehicle and he told me he wasn't going to take any tests and he was done talking. That sounds all pretty coherent to me. You have no case for your medical bills. You were driving drunk without insurance. Yeah, I know. Can I see the bill for fixing your car? When did you purchase the car, Mr. Donovan? Mid-September. And how much did you pay for it? Um, uh, don't give me a number. About $3,000. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $3,000. Thank you very much. We're done. I was excused. You may step out. I gave him a week to recover from the initial crash because I figured he was probably in the hospital. Well, I was heading home, coming back from the store. And I called him and he seemed pretty sorry. He decided he was going to pull out in front of me after I had flicked my high beams at him. He said, just give me a week to come up with the money and I'll, you know, I'll pay you. As he was leaving the premises, I swerved to avoid him. So I gave him the week to come up with the money, called him back again. Flipped his car and the airbag went off. And I don't know if it was his father or his brother answered the phone. He was trying to hustle me for more money than what the car was worth. And he told me to pretty much stop calling and to contact his lawyer. And I found out what his initial quote was, and I said, that's it, no more. Don't drive drunk. Yeah, just watch out for scammers. They're all around.